Hey, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. This is the second part of how to make a tally counter in Android Studio. In this video, we're going to be adding some more functionality to the layout that we created in the previous video. We're going to come over to the mainactivity.java file. And right now, it might look a little daunting, but don't worry about this on create method. All I want to focus on right now is setting up the user interface. The way I like to do this is by coming up and defining a few variables. So I'm going to go private and then we're going to grab the text view class because we have a text view object within our layout. And then I'm just going to call this text view. Then we're going to have to define variables for our three buttons. So I'm going to go private Then we're going to reference the button class and I'm going to call this increase button. And then we have to do the decrease button. And then finally, we just have the reset button. All right, so now we have variables for each of our views. Then I like to come past the onCreate method and define my own method. So we'll go private void, and then we're just gonna go set up UI. So the way we assign our views to our variables that we just created, we're gonna have to use the find view by ID method. We're gonna type in text view for our variable up here. And we're gonna set that equal to the find view by ID. And then all we have to do is type in R dot ID dot whatever the ID for that view was. So in this case, it was text view. And then we have to do the same for our three buttons. So we're going to go increase button equals find view by ID, R dot ID dot, and then this was increase. And it's the same thing for the rest of the buttons. So we got decrease button, All right, so now with this, we've actually linked up our views to our variables that we created above. All we have to do is come into our onCreate method and run our setup UI method. So now it's time to explain the onCreate method. This method is called whenever the activity is loaded up. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to put all of your code. This is why we put our setup UI in here. Then the set content view is what links our XML file to our Java file. So now the next thing we're going to have to do is set up an on click listener for our buttons. There's two ways we can do that. I'm going to show you both of them. The first way is we're going to set up an on click listener in code. So we're going to go increase button dot set on click listener. And then within our parameters, we got to type in new view and then hit the first one and it'll put in all this code for you. Then what this onClick listener is going to do, it's going to wait for the user to push that button. And when the user clicks it, it's going to run the code that's within this method in here. Then I'm just going to set up the onClick listener for the decrease button, the same exact way that I did it for the increase button. So set onClick listener and Android Studio kind of fills in most of this stuff for you. So it's not a big deal. Type in new view dot onClick listener and Android Studio will take care of the rest. Now within these buttons, this is where we're gonna to wanna to actually change the text of our text view up here. So when the increase button is called, we're gonna to wanna to increase the value by one. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna to need to grab the initial string from the text view. So I wanna store that into a string here. And we're gonna set this to new text. So we're gonna to need to grab the contents from the text view currently. The way we do that is typing in text view dot dot get text. And then you have to do a dot to string so you can actually read it as a string value. And then we're going to want to convert this to an integer. So we're going to have to actually use the integer class. It's about to get really messy. So parse int. So now we're actually able to use this as an integer. And then we want to increase this by one when that button is called. But we got a string here. So we're going to need to convert this back to a string. So we're going to use integer dot to string. So let me explain this. So the text view dot get text to string. Oh, this shouldn't be in here. Hold on. There we go. This little bit right here is going to grab whatever number is in the text view. Then we're going to take that, convert it to an integer, and then increase it by one because we press the increase button. And then we have to take that integer and convert it back into a string because we're going to come down here. We're going to set the text view, it has to be a string. So text view dot set text. And we're just going to set that to new text. So we're going to copy this and place it down here, except we're going to do a minus one. 
but there is one thing we do have to make sure is that the integer here isn't zero. So we're gonna throw this in an if statement. So if whatever this is, so as long as that is not equal to zero, we're A-OK. -okay. Setting up on-click listeners within the code is the way I personally like working with buttons, but there is another way we can do it. If we head back over to our activity main.xml file, we can click one of our buttons, and if we come over to the common attributes over in the attributes panel, we can see that there's actually an on-click slot right here. Now this slot is gonna function the same exact way as this on-click listener code that we wrote for our two buttons here. The way we use that slot is by defining a new method. So we're gonna go public, void, and let's call this reset text view. And then we're gonna come down here and we're just gonna reset the text view. So we're gonna call our text view dot get text, or not get text, dot set text. And then we're gonna set it back to zero. But if we come back over to our XML and we click this drop down, you'll actually see that there's nothing there. That's because when you're writing your methods for these on-click listeners, you have to type in view and then view. This allows the on-click listener slot to actually see this method now. So if we go back over, we click the drop down, and now it's here. We just have to click this, and this is going to function the same exact way as these two on-click listeners right here. So it's up to you as to which method you end up using to set up your on-click listeners, whether you're gonna write it within your code or if you're just gonna use this on-click slot that's built into the buttons. So it looks like we're done writing our app. All we have to do is come up to this top right-hand corner, select the device you wanna use, either the emulator or you're gonna plug in your physical device and then click this little play button. And this will download the app that we just wrote onto the device and then run it. So if you see, we click this button, it'll increase the number if we click this one, it'll decrease the number until we hit zero. If we increase this a little bit, we have the reset button. Oh, the reset didn't work. Why didn't the reset, hold on. What do we do? Come down here, dot set text, zero. Did I not set that to the right button? Oh, I didn't set it to the right button, my bad, okay. There we go, so we gotta actually assign it to the correct button. So now if we go back and play it, let this load, click this a little bit. All right, we're good. Okay, so it looks like the app's all right. I just didn't set the method to the correct button. Well, that looks like it's it for this video. There's a lot to take in. That's mainly because it was the first app and we had to go through everything. From here on out, it should be much smoother. In the next video, I plan on showing you guys how we can stylize this app to make it look nicer. Right now we just have some plain buttons. We can add some color, some different shapes. So be sure to watch the next video. As always, if you have any questions or you can't get something to work correctly, just leave a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.